Dan Perkins, Jasper County Cover Crop Guy. It's April 14th, 2014, and we're in a field of field corn that had cereal rye and radish drilled with a Hineker cedar quite late, about mid-October, end of October, so after harvest. And then right next door, about mid-September, we had a high boy clearance seeder come in and seed cover crop of cereal rye and radish and we have about nine inches of top growth with the cereal rye that was seeded in the middle of September into the standing corn and then over here we have the Hineker seeder which is basically drilled on 15 inch rows and the cereal rye is about five inches. We're going to do a soil core here next week, April 21st, to see what the rooting depth difference is. And the question here is which seeding method is better? And I think it all depends what your crop rotation is and what you're going for. And this grower is going for rooting depth, organic matter building, um, feeding the soil, and I think both methods are accomplishing this. And they're gonna, and we're gonna see what the rooting depth difference is. So Dan Perkins, cover crop guy, looking at different seeding methods.